How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Plane. This was directed by Jean-Francois Richet and stars Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter. International airline pilot Brody, played by Butler, is trying to get home to Hawaii so he can spend New Year's with his daughter. Sadly, he does not make it there in time, and not because he's flying southwest. The plane goes down in the Philippines on an island that has been taken over by rebels, and until the rescue team can get there, Brody has to keep the passengers safe. And to make things even messier, he just might have to put his trust in one passenger in particular, played by Coulter, an accused murderer who is being extradited back to the U.S. Fun times. So this movie has a very plain title in more ways than one. I was honestly shocked when that reveal came at the end of the trailer. Like, really? That's what they're calling it? But it's a simple title for a relatively simple action movie, and for the most part, it does what it's supposed to do. It does start off a bit slow. I think it maybe took them a little bit longer than it needed to to get them on that damn island. I don't know that we needed to get introduced to every single passenger on that plane, considering most of them don't really do anything. Really, the only people who do anything on that plane are Butler and Coulter. And to a lesser extent, Yosin Ann and Daniela Pineda, who play the co-pilot and one of the flight attendants. Everyone else is there to either be rescued or die, and it would have saved a lot of time if the movie wasn't pretending otherwise. Even the actual plane crash sequence takes a surprise amount of time, and the time it takes is even a plot point. But once we finally get to the damn island and our heroes can start busting heads, it actually becomes a lot of fun. There are some brutal and heavy-hitting action sequences. Coulter's character Lewis does some things with a sledgehammer that definitely earn the movie its R rating. And the first time Brody gets in a fight with one of the rebels, those two just beat the shit out of each other. And I like the way Riche shoots the action here. He's not overly relying on quick cuts, he just points the camera at the action and lets it play out. Butler was pretty good overall as Brody. He's clearly in way over his head as fighting warlords and rescuing hostages is generally not what airline pilots do. The character does have some RAF training, so he's not entirely clueless and he does know how to fight to an extent, but still not prepared for this. Coulter's character is very different. He has spent far more time in the military and is just a stone cold killer who is not phased by anything. But if you're stranded on an island with him, you would be very happy that he's on your side. And the leader of the Rebels is played by Evan Dane Taylor, who I believe has not done a whole lot of acting. He's mainly done stunt work. But I thought he did pretty well here. If you need someone to play a super scary, intimidating warlord who will straight up murder you without a second thought, there it is. He nailed it. Overall, it has some pacing issues, but the performances are pretty strong, and once the action finally got going, I had fun. I don't know if it's worth seeing in a theater if it's still playing near you, but I would say it's worth a rental. And that's all I have to say about Plane. Till next time, take care.